nowadays most of the switches if not all are interconnected using single mode fiber or multi mode fiber if you want to practice the same real world concept in cisco packet tracer you need to pick the right switch i'm going to show you exactly that in this packet tracer lab so i'm going to go to my network devices here and then i'm going to go to switches and let's see whether we can use single mode or fiber optics here in this switch so i'm going to take two 2960 switches and then i'm going to go and see what are the modules available if you look at here this is showing this is a rj45 connector it is not a fiber optic single mode or multi mode connection so i am sure i cannot use these two switches to interconnect them using fiber optics so let me try so i'm going to go to my connections and i'm going to go to the fiber here and pick this gig port and it's telling me the cable cannot be connected to that port so i know i cannot use this switch but in the real world these switches have a fiber optic module so you can use a single mode or multi mode fiber to interconnect them but packet tracer is little different so i'm going to go and delete these ones here and i'm going to go to a different switch go here and then go to a 3560 switch i'm going to bring two switches here and i'm going to look at the module this is also rj45 so let's try i'm going to go to connection single mode uh, the fiber connection and i'm going to go select i'm going to get the same message so i know i cannot use this switch also this is actually a multi layer switch in the cisco packet tracer so let's try another one that's what i know we can use single mode fiber so i'm going to delete these ones let's delete and i'm going to go to 3650 modular switch this is the highly modular switch in cisco packet tracer so if you go here go to the module you see so many different kind of module so let's go and insert the power because you have to insert the power separately to this switch and the fans are already there it's a built-in fan but in the real world in 3650s you have to insert these fans separately because these fans modules are modular and if you look at here this is the uplink if you want to see all the ports including the uplinks you go to configs and in the configs if you look at here you can see all the ports you see here these are the gig one one but these are not active right now if if i look at here and go to cli config let me see they are active now show int status it says gig all of them are there i want to see whether i can connect them let's try with this uh, automatic cabling using these switches and see whether i can pick if you see here when i come to pick the port we don't see those ports that's what i said you need to insert those modules otherwise you cannot see those modules for interconnection so i'm going to escape i'm going to delete that connection now i'm going to go to this switch physical view and i'm going to you can insert a copper module or this one other module that is a fiber optic module sfp so i'm going to insert the sfp here i'm going to go to two sfp modules in the real switch these sfp modules are built in 
or you can insert them as just one module. You don't insert them just one at a time. So here I am inserting one at a time, but in a real switch, you just have just one unit. You just insert them at once. So I have uh, four SFP module here. If you look at here, 1000 base LX, LH, SFP. So I'm going to close this one. Instead of doing the same thing to this switch, I'm going to delete this switch and I'm going to copy this one, copy and I'm going to paste. So I will get exactly the same built from this switch. Now, if I click here and connect, this is an automatic connection, but you can go later and pick the the cable cannot be connected to that port. The problem is, you see, the cable I am using here is, let me escape, this kind of cable. This is a copper crossover cable. So you know in uh, Cisco, you need to use a crossover cable between the same device. That's why it is choosing the crossover cable. So I'm going to go and delete the crossover cable and I'm going to come back to my fiber and then I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to pick the other one so now I have a fiber optic cables and you can click this one to speed up the transition you see the link lights are green now so I'm going to choose the other one also here to normally use use two of them uh, to do a bundling for the redundancy purpose so now these switches are connected using the fiber optics cable if you like the video hit the like button and if you want to see more of my videos uh, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification